Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Paul, and on this channel, I like to go over things that I am curious about and things that I've looked into, I like to share. So in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about um, how I embrace beginner's mindset and what I think about it in terms of progression and what I think about it in terms of mastery. So I was having a conversation with some friends the other day, and this came up as we were talking, and it was actually in the middle of Bible study that we were doing this, and I asked them, I was like, okay, at what age did you guys start kind of walking with Jesus? And they were telling me their different ages. And I was like, okay. Uh, and I was like, and how old are you guys right now? And they were telling me their different ages. And so I was like, okay, you are really the first age that you said, not the second age. Because like myself, I'm 22. But when did I start walking with Jesus? Okay, 14. And so am I really 22 years old or am I um, eight years old in this specific category? It's I'm eight years old. Okay, so that helps. So with this is like the first key that I'm talking about. Too many people judge themselves because they see people younger than them, further than them. And what I'm going to say is you're not actually the age you are with reference to that subject. So if you are 35 years old and you are just now studying to get whatever psychology degree or mathematics degree, and like, let's say that you're learning, I don't know, calculus, okay, for college. But you also know that there's like 18 year olds who are completing calculus. You may have like a little bit of judgment for yourself, but you have to understand you are not 35 compared to an 18 year old. Okay. You are one year old when it comes to this specific new thing for myself, starting to learn Latin in college. Okay. I can't think of myself and compare to the people who studied Latin in high school and be like, Oh, you know, uh, judging myself because of this. You have to take on the beginner's mind and whatever, whenever you start, you are that age for that thing, okay? So that's the first thing I'm going to say is how to embrace beginner's mindset. Understand that you are that age with that thing. You are not your real age. So don't, don't put yourself as your real age with this new subject because then you just get discouraged, okay? Here's the second thing. Going back to my example um, that I gave with my Bible study, guys. So if I'm eight years old and someone else is five years old in a, in this specific category, we can say, okay, I expect to be further along in the, uh, practice of, uh, walking with Lord and, uh, all that entails. But here's what I'm going to say, and this is kind of going to lead into the mastery discussion too. And I'll give you another example with like a motorcycle. It is true that you can reasonably now at this point, judge yourself based off the age that you've been in a specific topic. But where this next part comes in is how many days since you've been doing this new thing and you are however many years old, have you had deliberate practice within that subject? Okay. That's the key differentiator. So with my motorcycle, I've had my motorcycle since 2017. Um, yeah, since 2017. So I've been riding it now for a while. I've, I'm significantly better at uh, riding it now than I was before. Now let's say someone has only had a motorcycle since 2019 or tw even 2020. I could reasonably now judge between us two, uh, reasonably, because I've been in this category for a while. But if this person has now had more deliberate practice, I cannot get mad if this person is now better than me, okay? So I guess what I'm trying to talk about here with all of this stuff is mentality within learning. Mentality within learning. The first one is drop all judgments. You are not your age. You are one year old or you're a beginner in this specific thing. So drop all previous judgments that you've had on yourself for a new subject, okay? You're one years old. But once you've had some time in the specific uh, niche, domain of knowledge and you know whatever else, Okay, now you can start saying, now you can start comparing time spent in. But you can't just now just rely on time spent in because different people practice deliberately different amounts. There are people who are in the NBA for a while and then a young buck comes up and you know they get mad when they take their spot or when they just start having showtime. But if that young buck has had more practice, more deliberate practice, not just more time spent in practice because all those professional athletes play or practice, but deliberate practice outside of it. Same thing with sales. This happens all the time. You have a guy who's been there 10 years. He's pretty darn good. But then you have this young guy come in and maybe he's there only for two years, yet he's outselling everyone. 
and, now, and this is where it differentiates between what the person is doing in their off time um, with deliberate practice. And so this is why I bet on the compound effect of very, very small things over time, but deliberate practice with those small things daily. I'm not going to do a lot with a particular subject or anything like that in a short amount of time. I'm going to do a lot over different subjects, over different areas of life, over a long time, but not just over a long time, with different uh, times. It's with deliberate practice with those long times. And that is the key differentiator. It allows you to have the beginner's mindset. It allows you to take on new things each and every day. And also for your new things, you don't get overwhelmed because you're not trying to be, be the best right away. You're saying, I'm going to do this little, little bit today. I'm going to spend 10 to 15 minutes of deliberate practice. I'm going to spend 60 minutes of deliberate practice on this one little thing today. I'm not trying to be the best right now. I'm trying to be the best over time with deliberate practice every single day. And this has helped me tremendously, not only start new things, but now not judge myself in the midst of the process and be able to track tangible things while I'm learning a new thing or while I'm doing a new thing. So I just wanted to share these thoughts, uh, share this kind of process with you guys, um, just kind of share how, how I think about it and whatnot. So uh, if that was helpful at all, let me know down in the comments below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.